Good morning. Uh, it's Tuesday. If you have a look out there, there is some blue sky. It is actually warming up here in the UK. Looking it might be about 19, 20 degrees C here today. So uh, what I thought I might do is I, I did a video on my dough management uh, a fair few months ago, but I did it in like portrait mode uh, before I started posting stuff onto YouTube more regularly. And I thought I would essentially redo it so i'm gonna show you how i manage my dough as it's now warmed up because the van will get if it's 20 if it's like say 20 degrees outside the van will generally be 15 to 20 degrees hotter than it is outside especially if it's being bathed in sunlight so today it will it will probably get north of 40 degrees c in the back of this van and obviously i need to manage my dough keep it at a sort of certain temperature and because i don't use refrigeration um i'm going to show you what i do so yeah I'm gonna to drive to this pop-up. I'm just, just actually waiting on uh, a last little delivery before we head out. And um, and then we're gonna get there and I'll show you my day management. Let's go. Yo, so I'm here, I'm in the van, I'm set up for the day. Uh, basically, it is already 32 degrees and the ovens are even running a low flame. I haven't, luckily I'm in the shade today, so I haven't got the sun on me. But to keep my dough at a decent temperature, because basically, in the summer it's brutal in here in the winter it's fine i have the back door i mean you're on my back shelf at the minute camera's there i have the back door like um closed in the in the in the in the winter to keep it warm and it stays like a constant 18 degrees so the dough in here is absolutely fine that's that's kind of where i want it but today this is the dough it's looking you know looking tidy looking sweet um right now in here this is perfect i mean it is 30 degrees but this is over by the door so it's sort of it's keeping it at a good temperature sorry somebody's reversing um but i have a dough cabinet down here if you have a look down here so down here is my dough cabinet i can fit 18 dough trays in here that's enough for 270 odd pizzas i put 15 dough balls in a tray and what i have is up the top in the cabinet I have these, these are called eutectic plates and these are like commercial cool plates. And this one is a minus three plate. So this has a minus three value. This needs to be frozen at 12 degrees underneath that value. So this needs to be like minus 15. This needs to be in a freezer at for like literally two days. And then I slide these in and they just cool the whole thing down. So I can fit four of them in there and then I can load up the sides of the cabinet as well with more cool plates. And essentially what that will do is that that's an insulated cabinet. The door is actually insulated with the dome packaging that came with these domes, which is quite cool. So we reuse that. Um, yeah, basically that allows that cabinet to stay at like 15, 16 degrees, even when it's like 40 plus in here. So, I mean, I've had it in here when it's been like 60 degrees in the middle of the summer where it was like 30 degrees outside, 40, like 35. We had a crazy summer, like not last year or the year before, I can't remember now, but it got super hot. And um, basically it could be sweltering in here, but in there, my dough stand, it stays good because it's down low as well. So that is how I can control my dough without a fridge because I never put my dough in a fridge as you might have seen on my uh, full dough making process. If you want to look at another video, you can check that out. Um, my dough never goes in the fridge. Um, I like to keep it at room temperature fermentation I, and I just control that temperature as much as I can throughout the day in the van. Now I'm, I'm only trading for like, normally on like my market, it's, it's kind of like a four hour window really. Uh, and I have, I have the dough sort of come good around midday, which is when I kind of get busy. That's, that's my target time. Um, and it will generally stay good all day. I mean, I could, I could control it and I could then cool it down. Um, a lot of people ask me, what do I do with dough that I have left? I generally don't have any left. I normally only bring enough that I know that I'll sell. If, for example, I do, I'll probably either just bake it if it's not much and then give it away or take it home, give it to the kids, give it to friends and family. Or if I do end up having a really weird day, like it chucks it down with rain, it's horrific. Um, I'll just chuck it. Um, I could take it home if I had a, if I had a fridge that could fit a commercial dough tray. I could I could put it in the fridge uh, for an extra day, um, like twenty another twenty four hours. But I'd have to have that fridge very cold because the yeast would become inactive at like under three degrees. But as long as my if my if I'd used like a weaker flour, it wouldn't have the strength anyway, and it would just start to flatten out. I mean, you can make pizza with it, but it's not going to be at its best. So it's always good to you know just just bake it basically um i think the dough is the cheap part of the business it's it doesn't cost a lot bag of flour 25 kilo bag of flour is like 25 quid 
um, you know, and you can get a hell of a lot out of that. So, um, so yeah, I hope that helped. Dough management, that's how I do it. Have a lovely day.